We are continuing with uh, Paul Simmons' AMCO Candidates Corner, as we've had multiple candidates for, uh, really, city council, city judge here in Watertown, branching out a little bit today. We're talking yeah. to Bobby Cantwell uh, running for the District 1 seat. Is that correct on County Latch here in Correct, Jackson? yeah, District 1. Uh, Tate Vincent and Clayton. Doctor seat, right? Michael Doctor. Uh, jumping into the County Latch fray, why? Um, I'm compelled to do it. Uh, I've been on the town board for 10 years, uh, school board for two. Um, it's, it's, it's inside me. Um, born and raised here locally. So. I find, uh, you know, I'm, I'm very much immersed in, in the local politics. I find it very fascinating on a lot of levels. But with County Ledge, it's typically, and, and maybe I'm wrong on this, but I feel like a lot of people don't totally grasp what a county legislature does. And have you found that with your boots in the ground saying, you know, I am running District 1, or do they have a lot of questions? Absolutely. Uh, point blank, what does a county legislator do? Okay. Uh, you know, it starts, uh, you're, you're looking over a budget of just shy of $250 million. Some real money. Yeah, yeah. 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 and it, it's important, right? You know, in, in today's day and age, uh, the dollar doesn't go as far as it do, did, you know, and, and passed. But uh, the connectivity. Um, the legislature will connect your towns and villages to state level, right? It's that connectivity. Um, I, I don't want to pretend that I know everything about county legislature, but uh, I'm certainly ready and willing to listen and, 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 and learn. Um, I have some ideas. Can't well message. Well, uh, transparency, open, honesty. Um, I think In government? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's funny. <laughs> well, um, that, that's me. I, I sometimes am accused of wearing my heart on my sleeve, uh, being too honest, if you can be. Uh, but uh, I, I think that uh, honesty and transparency is key. Uh, you build coalitions, you build groups, uh, you, you, you work together, uh, consensus, and, and move forward as a group. At the end of the day, sometimes you, you give a little, right? And as they say, live to fight another day. Was there one uh, like defining moment where you decided to run for county ledge? Um, but I always said I would do the county legislature, right? When Michael Doctor was done, um, Mike has decided to uh, retire. Yeah, He's had a, a great run representing Cape Vincent and Clayton very, very well. I have some big boots to, to uh, choose to fill, I should say. Mm -hmm. And what is, maybe for that area specifically, or maybe overarching for the county, what is the biggest issue right now that you see in the Oh, gosh. You, you got it. Wind has been there for quite a while, Especially right? Especially yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 And, and, you know, it's been talked about for years. Um, high water recently, yeah. right? Uh, you know, the IJC doing what they can, can, can do the best they can. Uh, Plan 2014 was implemented last year. What are your thoughts on that? Well, Mother Nature. Uh, reared her, her head this past year. Um, I think the IJC uh, does a great job. Uh, we can always do better. What I would like to see maybe under the IJC, and I, and I know they have uh, board members, maybe some more boots on the ground. I'm a home rule guy. I am, I'm, you know, door to door, right. uh, handshakes, eye contact means something to me. But maybe from Messina to Buffalo, our region, right along the lake shore, the river, um, maybe some more people that, that, are, that are tabulating or, or actually how is it impacting and and give their input right now they're not on the board they're not board members they're not voting board members but yet they could give their opinion right and maybe it's 15 to 20 people there's got to be a majority there right and and maybe it's a good idea maybe right. it's something they take but when you're uh, going door to door anybody give you opinions on that <laughs> oh yes lots of opinions <laughs> uh, still strong up here in the north country and in jefferson county uh it was very strong a few years back right everybody's uh i don't want to say scrambling but everybody's uh, modifying uh, amending some current codes and laws you know wind laws that uh, will help protect our communities again i mentioned i'm home rule right i, I am absolutely a home rule, rule guy article 10 makes me very nervous right that basically takes that control out of our hands right um i think just recently uh, our governor has not acknowledged that uh it, it may not we may not be in favor in this area uh, of wind now uh, i will absolutely say that i am in favor of clean green renewable energy sources right, right? but okay. what about wind Bobby? um i am i'm not anti-wind i'm pro placement okay right. but i'm going to okay. tell you for jefferson county the entire jefferson county right it's not for jefferson county it could be for other parts of our country other parts of our state you know the, the, the economics of it, that can be a whole nother question, that we, or another conversation sure. we could go into. Yeah. For our area, Fort Drum, very, very important. The economic impact, the thousands of jobs that are over there, the thousands of troops that are over there, right? That translates into hundreds of thousands of dollars, hundreds of millions of dollars right. Right, in economic impact. Uh, many people before me, right, have, have put this plan in place. 
um, and got one of the largest military installations here in the North. Jefferson County wind power would have a negative impact on tourism. Um, I'm going to agree with you. I, I would agree with that. Um, the aesthetics, right? Yeah. Of them, they're they're you know some people say they're they're not bad looking. Well. Yeah. Depends on the placement, as exactly. you say. Correct. Correct. They look pretty cool in, in Lewis County. It, you know, if, if and, and who would we be from Jefferson County to tell Lewis County what they should right. or shouldn't do, okay? Yeah. That, that home rule thing, right? I'm not necessarily not for wind turbines, but again, pro clean, green, renewable energy, right? Hydro, solar, um, absolutely continue to move forward and help uh, negate some of the, the greenhouse, you know, the, this effect that right. we've had. Uh, we're speaking with Bobby Campbell here in uh, Candidates Corner, presented by uh, Paul Simmons' owner, of course, until our coffee and street here in Watertown. You do have an opponent in this race. How have things shaken out uh, going forward now? Uh, because there is no incumbent here, so it, it's you know in, a, in an open seat. And you have a week to go. I do I, I see my opponent out there? He's he's knocking on doors and doing his thing. There's some signs, uh, and uh, so. Um, you know, I'm out there conveying my message, right, and what what I'll do and, and how I'll do it, and uh, I'm sure he's doing the same thing. <laughs> well, thank you, Bobby, for joining us. Good luck on your race for the legislature. Thank you very much. Good to see you again, Bobby. 790 WTNY News Time is 846.